Hello! Today, you're going to learn how to export your Character Creator character into Flipside. So, first, you would need Character Creator plugin. It is the auto setup. So, you're going to go to, in your Character Creator window, you're going to go to Plugins, Character Creator, and iClone Auto Setup. And you're going to say, Get the tool for Unity. It's going to bring you to this page here. Click, you're going to scroll down to Download. And then you can make sure that you check your uh, Unity version. We're going to be downloading the 2019 version. So, you're going to click on Download. When you click on it, or if you open it up, you're going to hit Yes. It's going to in make a install. Hit next. I accept. Pick a place. I just have mine located in S Flipside 2020. Hit next. And now it's downloaded. It's going to automatically open up this window here with uh, all the different versions. You're going to pick your Unity version, which would be 2019. And for Flipside, you're going to make sure to choose the 3D version. Once you have Unity open, we're going to double click on the 3D asset pack. And it's going to load, import, just click on go ahead and made a backup. So it's going to create a folder here and uh, I will show you how to get your character over into Unity. So we're going to go back to our character creator it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and export this character because I want to put it into flip side. A reminder, if you want to share the character or you want to have it, uh, a lower poly version, you're going to want to modify the character and convert to game base. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I can share this character if I just need a lower poly version. So you're going to choose max texture texture size 496 unless you want to uh, do a multi-material which is actually better quality instead of having everything into one I want to do multi-material at 2048 and I'm gonna go ahead and hit convert okay so once that's done it can take a while so once that's done you're gonna want to go to file export FBX clothed character very important here don't skip any of this these steps so go to the target tool preset and change this to unity make sure you go to just for fbx options mesh only make sure that this is unchecked make sure all these are unchecked it looks just like this one last thing click on this little the setting symbol and you want to do a mouth open as morph otherwise you will not have a mouth open blend shape so mouth open as morph very very important once that is good, um, I don't check this box at all. I leave that unchecked. That's just a personal opinion. Um, I'm not going to do any LODs, so I just, just this is how you want it to look. Hit export, and then this is just letting you know that you can't bring it back into Character Creator to do any editing on that model because it's, you know, removing something. So then you're going to hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and save it in my Flipside 2020 folder. What you want to do, and this is again very important, you want to create a new folder first before you save it. So create a new folder. I'm going to call this um cyberpunk dude i'm going to double click in that folder and now i'm going to name this cyberpunk dude i'm just going to do cyberpunk dude one just in case i have any more and then i'm going to hit save so it's going to save that into its own special folder which we need to do and i will show you why in a minute okay so once you exported your character you're going to want to go back into unity and then we're going to open up the folder where we saved our character so I named him Cyberpunk Dude. You want to go into your CC Assets folder. Yep, right here. And you're going to drag this folder into your CC Assets folder where this little README file is. If you don't do this, it's not going to set up the materials properly. This makes it so you don't really have to do a whole lot when it comes to the materials. So we're going to go ahead and drag this over into here. And we're going to watch it do its magic. Okay, so now I'm actually importing my uh, creator tools the most recent version which I believe is 0 0.33. So now I have my uh, creator tools and I got my character in here. There is one very very important step that you must take because if you try to create your character uh, the creator tools the script is actually going to remove all of your materials that you just defeat the whole purpose. So this is very very important you have to go into your flip side creator tools and you got to go into the scripts Okay, the script is character creator. Super simple. You can just search for character and then find the character creator script, open it up in mono develop or uh, coding application of your choice. I use mono develop and you're going to go down to line 69. So this line is all about the material. But what I do is I go, I don't, I think it's this whole thing. So I, I select this whole area, right click on it toggle line comments and then I hit control s to save it and then you'll see down here that it's saving and then we want to go to our console just to make sure there's no errors we cleared it out and there's no more errors so that we didn't screw anything up so now when we import the character it's going to come through normally so now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your character go into the folder 
and you're going to see right here, we can make this, you can see that this is a prefab that it created for us, and it's already humanoid, everything is normal, the only thing you need to do is click on it, make sure you open up your creator tools uh, window, okay, so what you do is you go ahead and you click on the prefab that was just created, there we go, clicked on it, now we're going to go back to our flip side tab, import your character, or here's the thing I've tried with colliders and it causes some mouth issues it like the mouth won't close no matter what you do so I always just start with import your character no colliders until this is fixed so import your character no colliders click on that go back to scene here's our character and the light on one thing that I've been noticing though is that the clothing is all like you can see it's not smooth shaded for some reason I'm not sure if it's just me or if this is happening to everybody but this mainly some only some clothing, um, but we're just gonna ignore that for now. In order to make sure that his mouth isn't hanging wide open when you hit play, you actually do need to do one thing. You need to search for jaw, and you need to go. You need to take the jaw root and drag it on top of your upper jaw. Bam! That's that's all you need to do. And now his mouth won't be hanging open when you hit play. So all we need to do is adjust the transparency in the hair and the eyelashes. We're going to go to his eyelashes and we're going to go to transparent, go to his hair. I usually do cut out just because otherwise um, sometimes you can have issues. Actually for the scalp I usually do transparent. For the... Yeah, I know that doesn't look perfect. But... There are hair shaders. I don't have it um, in my project, but I do have one somewhere. We're... We're just going to do this. I don't care if it looks funny or not. This is just a test. Just an example. All right. So that's our character. Obviously, we haven't set his mouth up yet. And this is where um, I might actually end the tutorial only because they're updating the blend shapes. Uh, the best option would be to do animations. Again, it's not working in the new version. It's missing many, many blend shapes. So it only uses a couple and it just does not look right. So I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on that. Right now, I actually have an old one. Uh, from the previous version, which I can point you guys into that direction uh, in the comments or in the description, actually. And you can watch how to make really awesome animations with an or mouth and facial movements with animating the blend shapes. It's very, very uh, awesome. And I will, again, tell you how to do that. Um, but that is how you get your character into flip side. So that is what I got for you. And hopefully this helps anybody that needs to get your characters over into flip side or in the Unity into Flipside. Um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to ask. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.